Hi, this is an introduction to the Stamp Manage reporting features. Stamp Manage contains a whole bunch of predefined reports as you see in the reports menu. To r simply run a report, click on the report with the title you're interested in. Here you'll see the print options dialog. Now the default is printer, but as you can see, Stamp Manage can export reports to many different formats, including PDF, Excel, HTML. Uh, we'll go ahead and just select the preview option and what that does is I'll put the report in preview mode you can later go on and print that if you want to and as you can see here it's a report with uh, several columns now if you want to run a report on a particular subset for example the United States airmail stamps all you do is right mouse click click on collection report using and you can select the same report select the output destination print button and as you see here the report only contains the United States airmail stamps that you have added to your collection and create a report a simple report we have a create collection report feature this brings up this dialog here and allows you to cre create a simple little report type in the name uh, that allows you to show in the, t the summary totals at the end. Uh, here you're specifying the Scott number as the sorting column and cleaning, cl clicking on the create report and edit will bring up the stamp manage report designer with the report defined. Now here we've double clicked on a column and we're going to change this from stamp.condition to stamp color. So this column will now show the color of the stamp. So we go ahead and in the data portion change stamp condition to stamp color then we can click on the headers tab and change the header from what grade to color save this close the report wizard and now we can output the report using the output report using all data which shows all the stamps in all of our collections select the myreport.lst which we just created once again select the destination and as you see in the last column there the condition has been changed to color so now we see the color of each stamp listed another way to create a report is to take an existing report and make changes to it a good way to get started. So we're going to go ahead and edit the report, select the stamps sorted by Scott. First of all it's important to give this the report a different name. So we're going to save it as stamp sorted by Scott 2. We can go ahead, double click on the table object here, it brings up the headers, data, footer, this is the quantity, the totals that show up at the end of the report on the last page. Data line is all the values that will show in each line of the report. And if you want you can go ahead and change the location by clicking on the column and pressing a down arrow. Once again, we can right mouse click, select collection report, collection report using, and select the report we just saved, stamp sorted by, sorted by Scott 2. Now we're going to go ahead and output this to a PDF format. Click start, we'll now get it for PDF, we'll get an extra dialog box, give the PDF file a name, specify that it shows up in the PDF uh, reader when the report is finished. And now we have our p a PDF file with our report. Here you can click on the thumbnails to view each individual page and you have a PDF file. You can do the same thing with the Excel spreadsheet and HTML data. 
as well.